Facing the challenge of global climate change, the upsurging rate of temperature and sea level in Taiwan has exceeded the average global increase rate. Plus, typhoons and torrential rain have caused disasters such as floods and landslides. And tropical depression caused storms also affect the safety of coastal areas severely. Although rainwater is abundant in Taiwan, the time of precipitation is lopsided. And together with steep terrains, this causes rivers to rush into the sea rapidly. With the increasing intensity of rainfall and the decreasing amount of rainy days in recent years, it gets a lot more difficult to utilize and manage water resources. When it comes to these unique hydrological and geographical conditions, as well as the disasters brought on by global warming and climate change, the enhancement of the water environment has become an urgent matter. In order to establish the national development infrastructure for the next 30 years, the executive yuan promoted the forward-looking infrastructure plan in 2017. And one of the main focuses is water environment infrastructure. It is expected that through the interministerial resources, we'll be able to create a stable water supply, flood control, and a top quality water environment. Through interdepartmental and central government cooperation, we will establish a platform which focuses on implementations that have resources integration and review. Through creative thinking, new technologies, enhanced environments, and innovative industries, incorporated with measures such as water control, water purification, and hydrophilicity, the risk of water shortage can be greatly reduced and the quality of the water environment will be better. The investment is estimated to be around $250.7 billion in an eight-year cycle. The three main focuses are water and development, water and safety, and water and environment. The first phase of the plan begins in September 2017 and ends in December 2018, funded with approximately $25.1 billion NT dollars. In order to create a stable water supply environment for domestic and industrial uses, we may speed at the development of the Niaozuitan artificial lake, slow down the subsistence in the Zhonghua area, map out six lake areas, and draw water resources from the Wu River for water storage and other utilizations. To increase the supply of surface water with approximately 250,000 tons daily, it also lays out a groundwater disaster prevention emergency backup network by utilizing groundwater and surface water jointly as a backup water source in case of drought or emergency, A hyperionic flow development plan has been proposed to reduce water deficiency during periods of high turbidity to improve the recovery capacity of the regional water supply system. Additionally, the plan also includes conservation measures for 95 reservoirs throughout the nation, the second raw water pipe construction project of the Hushan Reservoir, and the Sherman Reservoir Amuping Sluicing Tunnel Construction Project to reduce the deposition of sediment in the reservoir watersheds. By strengthening the measures and infrastructure to prevent siltation and increasing domestic water supply and backup capacity, sustainable operations of the reservoirs will thereby be stimulated and water storage capacity will be enhanced. The plan further includes improving water supply conditions in areas that lack tap water and outlying islands maintaining the convenience, safety and hygiene of drinking water. The promotion of reclaimed water and smart management of water resources are also main focuses. By applying big data analysis and cloud computing, the risks and losses caused by floods can be greatly reduced, as well as maximizing the benefits of distribution of water supply. In order to promote the development of industries in relation to deep sea water and to meet the demand for sustainable pipelines and retrieving water, four expansion joints have been installed 10 meters below sea level to match the need for long-term use. We also hope to attract more domestic manufacturers to invest in R&D or industrial development to further accelerate the development of water resources. The current status of the first phase infrastructure is as follows. Hyperionic Flow Development Plan, Deep Sea Water Abstraction Project, Second Raw Water Pipe Construction Project of the Hushan Reservoir, The Third Phase of Water Supply Improvement Plan in Areas Without Tap Water, Niaozuitan Artificial Lake Construction Project,
Sherman Reservoir on Wuping Sluicing Tunnel Construction Project. Disaster Prevention and Emergency Backup Well Network. Strengthening the Conservation of Watershed Area Plan. Smart Management System for Water Resources and Water Saving Technology Promotion Project. To reduce the harm to citizens caused by disastrous floods, the government promotes regional drainage plans to county and city rivers, specifically aiming at the improvement of rainwater sewers, rivers, and regional water drainage in hopes of adopting measures that suit local conditions to reduce the risks and damage of having floods. Taking the Jilong Da Wu Luen stream as an example, by broadening the stream channel and conserving the water and soil resources, we are able to control the amount of sediment deposition. The midstream section of the Da Wu Luen stream curves into a U-shape at around the local fire station. There are two consecutive turns and with a lack of sufficient stream section area, every time it rained heavily, the water from upstream was blocked from falling further, causing backflow and floods. We widen the stream channel from the original 9 meters to approximately 15 meters. This construction greatly improved drainage and reduced flooding in the area with conservation of the local habitat environment, cultural uniqueness, and natural landscapes taken into consideration. It enhanced the environmental quality of the waterfront area and provides a safer living environment for the local residents. The first phase is scheduled to be completed by the end of December 2018 and will increase the protected area by 5 kilometers and improve the dike and the 13.2 kilometer of drainage channels. An 8.8 kilometer sewer construction project will increase urban flood retention by 20,000 cubic meters, improve 35,000 kilometers of farmland drainage channels and enhance 25 farmland structures. To meet the demands for sustainable development of urban and rural areas and the environment, the infrastructure has been upgraded from basic disaster prevention functions to waterfront environment creation. In the overall planning, ecological, cultural, recreational, and production-oriented are also incorporated, such as multifaceted functions through the point-to-point -point upgrades connecting into a band corridor and further combining with the waterfront environment and the local cultural and industrial uniqueness, we can develop a plan our ecological cycle and a cultural life cycle, shaping a brand new image of our urban and rural areas. The plan also promotes the establishment of a healthy water environment by constructing at least 88 landscapes and habitats nationwide. We can accelerate the overall enhancement of the water environment, sewage interception, sewer improvement, effluent replenishment, water purification, fishery environment revitalization, detention pond ecological landscaping, plant landscaping, and sewage treatment facilities, etc. to create areas rich with natural resources and ecological habitats, thus restoring waterfront vitality. From 2017 to 2021, 67 water environment highlight sites were expected to be constructed, as well as more than 305 hectares of hydrophilic recreational space. By the end of 2018, at least 10 water environment highlight sites and 30 hectares of waterfront recreational space will be completed. We hope to create a quality and healthy living environment for people. Water resources are a critical foundation for a country's economic development and are closely related to the safety and quality of life for all the residents. The Water Environment Infrastructure Plan is designed to provide a flood-free, safe and friendly environment for people to live in and to provide a stable water supply, ensuring all residents and businesses are free from worry about water shortages. However, national infrastructure cannot be built in a day. Therefore, in addition to the current phase of the project, there will be a second phase in the future. It is hoped that by restoring the vitality of our rivers, maintaining the effective capacity of major reservoirs, and through the various water control schemes such as smart water management, our water environment will be more protective, resistant, and resilient. Paving the future, forward-looking water environment infrastructure.